So I gotta do it now. Yo, Steel Mills, what's the Denzel, man? Pete Gang, though. Like I said, I'm gonna say for the next week or so until I'm caught up on all the news and the topics I wanna talk about personally. Nigga was out of town for a week and some change, so a lot of the news I was getting, I wasn't in a position of where I could speak on it because nigga was enjoying his vacay. Been three years since I boarded an airplane. I was about to, I was living that up to the fullest, but nonetheless, let's talk about it, man. I wanted to uh, talk about and touch on what uh, Freddie Roach had to say about who's better between Earl Spence and Keith Thurman. And I've been saying this for some years now. I've been saying this shit for some years now, man. Thurman is the more fundamentally sound fighter. He is. He has more dimensions in his game. He knows how to adjust on the fly. Like, we haven't seen that from Earl Spence yet. We have not seen the ability to make the adjustments from Earl Spence on the fly. Earl Spence, when you in a when he's in a, when he's in a when he's in a fight where he doesn't have to go out, he doesn't have to worry about staying in front of you. He's going to look stupendous. That's why he looked the way he looked against Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia is a he's lethargic on his feet. He's flat footed. So is Earl Spence, but Earl Spence isn't as flat footed as Danny Garcia. If you get what I'm saying. He didn't have to go out and find Danny Garcia. He didn't have to worry about staying in front of Danny Garcia. So he was able to have his way with him. When he fought Sean Porter, Sean Porter was turning and spinning that man all around the goddamn ring. And it was too, I mean, the people are so fucked up with, you know, people are so high up on Earl Spence that they'll say, oh, he wanted to fight like that. No, he did not want, you absolutely don't want to fight in a capacity to where the fight is going to be close. You dig me? You see somebody's level of comfort in that fight and Earl Spears looked like a deer in the headlights for a wide portion of that fight with Sean Porter because he wasn't used to dealing with fast feet he was not used to dealing with that so when Sean Porter is in his chest and spinning him all over the goddamn place he don't know how to he, he doesn't know how to adjust to it he doesn't know how either Earl doesn't have that type of footwork he doesn't know how to pivot on, the, on, a, on an opponent of that caliber he had me fooled at one point in time, when, like when he fought Lamont Peterson, he was doing a lot of in and, out, in and out movements or whatever, man. But Sean, nah, I see Sean, Sean Porter. Lamont Peterson was at that point in time a shell of himself. Like this, yeah, he's out of there. He's not, yeah, yeah. He wasn't countering. He was catching a lot of shots on the gloves. He didn't have that same pep in his step when he fought Danny Garcia a few years prior too. He just didn't. Lamont Peterson was done by that time, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I won't take that win away from Earl Spence, but he was, he wasn't the same Lamont Peterson. So when he had Lamont Peterson just pretty much bending the knee, he couldn't do nothing. He was just in there like, he told his coach, as long, if you don't pull me out, I'm not coming out. I'll die in this ring pretty much. So he was just a shell of himself. He was just completely just, his will was just imposed on Lamont Peterson to the point where he was just standing there in the high guard. So naturally, when you're in that position to do whatever it is you want to do, you're going to showboat. You're going to do shit outside of the norm that of your fighting identity. And he was able to do that. In that fight, in that fight, when he fought Sean Porter, he didn't look like that. You didn't see that in and out movement. You did not see that shit. You saw somebody who was pretty heavy on their feet. You saw a pretty flat-footed fighter in front of Sean Porter. When Thurman fought Sean Porter, you didn't see that. Sean Porter's gonna bring the dog in any fight that he's in. I don't think anybody is gonna stop Sean Porter at in the division. I don't, and I think he's going to have a tough fight, a tough out for any and all competitors at welterweight. But the difference is, even like Thurman had a bit a bit easier of a time with Sean Porter than Earl Spence did because of his abilities to make adjustments. You can you can look at that fight with uh with Sean Porter. You can look at the fight with Danny Garcia. 
and you can say and you can you can gauge who's the better between the two of them and how they handled it. When you look at Sean Porter versus Danny, not Danny Garcia, but Keith Thurman, Thurman had the intelligent enough feet to take that step back and launch the left hook. He had the, you know, he had the, he was, he was good enough of a counter puncher, sharp enough with his reflexes to where Sean Porter would lunge in and he'd punish him with the left hook. That left hook was there all night. He did that all night. Every time Sean Porter would get in close, and he's not on the rope. They at mid ring. He's taking that step back and he's launching the left hook. And Sean, and he's doing it consecutively to the point where Sean Porter has to completely reset and think of a new entry uh, plan. Oh, man, how am I gonna get in and avoid this left hook? You see his wheel spinning after he gets clipped with that left hook. When he does get inside and he dips too low, he's meeting him with the rear uppercut up the middle. You see this shit happening. Oh shit, is that a bed? Damn. You see this shit happening. You see it, you see this shit. You see his ability to turn with Sean Porter and, uh, 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 and get back to the middle of the ring. Fight his way off the ropes and get back in the middle of the ring. Sean Porter is eventually gonna pin you on the ropes. He is. But who has the, you know, who, who's more versatile to know how to get back in a position where you're more comfortable in? Thurman is more comfortable in all of those distances. He can, he's comfortable fighting in a clinch. He's savvy in a clinch. He's a lot more sleek and slicker. He's poised in a clinch. He's the better counter puncher on the inside. He's a damn good inside fighter. When Thurman fought, Garcia, Garcia stood there in front of him. He, he didn't move. So he was able to tee off on him again and, and, and just jab him to death. He was able to do that. Thurman got injured in that Garcia fight. He says that, like, I, I got injured. He, that dude, he fucked me up in the sense of, like, he hit me in my arm. My arm was hurting for rounds. Like, that's, that dude can punch. Homeboy can punch. But he fucked his hand up in that fight. He won the fight nonetheless. But in that fight, you see Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia got to the point where he just stood in the middle of the ring like, are you serious? Like, you gonna keep doing this? Yeah, nigga. Come and find me. Thurman is clearly the better, more polished boxer between the two of them. There's more dimensions and elements in his game than Spence has. I've been saying this for years, and everybody looks at me like I ain't got no goddamn sense. Everybody goes through all oh, the body shots, the body shots, the body shots. You right? You 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 right? Thurman can get nudged in the body, and you you know it'll affect him differently. He, he's clearly. I know people don't like getting hit. Nobody likes getting hit in the body. Thurman hates getting hit in the body. And it don't look. It's not like he's soft down there, man. It, you know he's. His abdomen looks like, all right, he got enough muscle picked up to where he can withstand thousands of body punches. On the contrary, he can't, or maybe it's just the fighters that he's fighting finds that sweet spot. But everybody ain't finding that sweet spot. He just doesn't take the body shots the best. So that was everybody's go-to when it comes to Earl Spence versus Keith Thurman. All those body shots, he gonna get hit in the body. It's a possibility. It's most definitely a possibility. But you gotta be able to get in to get to land those body shots. This is why I was so frustrated with Thurman acting and, you know, cowering to fucking Earl Spence when he was coming around in his presence. I'm, I felt, I'm like, you can beat this dude. I think you can beat this dude. But every time Spence would come around him, he'd get all, you know, putting his hand on his shoulder, trying to coddle him or whatever, or don't bang on me too hard. You know, man, fuck out of here, my nigga. That nigga interrupting your interviews and look how you acting. Oh, fuck no. That nigga trying to curb you, man, and force you into a fight. You tell you, this nigga like got you looking like a little lady, like a little hoe. And then after Sean Porter fights him, now you get this vigorous type of energy about you. Like, you had him knocking Sean Porter out. That's how highly you thought of this dude. And then when Sean Porter goes in there and handles him the way that he handles him, to the point where you can argue that Sean Porter won the fight. Now you're like, 
oh, fight me or get out of the division. I want Earl Spence. And you can say that shit all you want about you was uh you had plans to fight Manny Pacquiao and then unify uh, beat if you beat Manny Pacquiao you was gonna unify with Earl Spence. It sounds good, man. But the thing is this: when you when a fight is on the horizon, motherfuckers know who you got lined up in the scope. So if you get through the motherfucker that you're fighting, not in the sense of you're overlooking your opponent, but if you just so happen to get through this motherfucker, I want him next. You didn't even give niggas that energy, man. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Bark on Earl Spence in an in a, in a interview or nothing like that on, or none of these interviews you be doing, you, you didn't do none of that. You didn't do none, you said on interview, oh man, I told him I'm gonna bust your hot air balloon or whatever. Or you, we didn't hear that. We didn't hear that. So the energy you was putting out there to him was on some, you know, submissive type shit. Until Sean Porter made him look the way that he looked. Now, feel like all right yeah now I, I got my confidence up now you clamoring for a fight with him and he don't want shit to do with you that's your own fault it should have never been like that with you out the gate because you're one of the more skilled welterweights i've always said i'm like he's i think he's better than earl spence and it's no shot at spence and it's no guarantee that thurman would beat spence just because he's the more a uh, 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 well-rounded fighter. It, it, he's a more well-rounded fighter than Sean Porter, and look at all the hell that Sean Porter gave him. So I'm not saying it's a guarantee he'd be, I'd go for Thurman in the fight on skills, but I'm not saying that he's gonna go in there and obliterate the dude, no. And I'm not saying that, Thur that Spence doesn't have a chance against Thurman, hell no, I'm not saying that. But who's the better between the two of them? I agree with Freddie Roach. And I, you know, Freddie wrote, you know, he's a trainer. I'm, you know, Manny is one of my favorite fighters of all time, man. So, you know, I fucks with Freddie. Well, as a trainer, you dig, I, you know, he a Boston dude, a, you know, a, 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 a Boston, was he Irish? I think he's Irish, you dig. The Irish have a pretty racist history amongst blacks up there in Boston, man. But I've yet to hear about anything extra coming out of Freddie Roach's mouth. So, I, you know, until I do, I fucks with Freddie Roach. I still have my skepticism, but for the most part, I fuck with Freddie Roach. But every, I don't always agree with Freddie Roach. Everything with Freddie Roach, oh yeah, he's gonna knock him out. He's gonna end in a knockout this, a knockout that. And shit don't even be ending in a knockout. That shit be going 12 rounds. You dig? So nah, I don't agree with everything, but I agree with a lot. And in this particular situation, I agree with this. As good as Earl Spence is, he is not better of a boxer than Keith Thurman. He's just not. I don't see how anybody could argue that. If you know what you're looking at, Thurman can switch hit. Thurman can fight off for the back foot. Despite, uh, no matter the high level of opposition in front of him. That's the difference. People overrate that victory over Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia wasn't in a position to where he could do anything to, uh, 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 to oppose Earl Spence. So Earl Spence imposed his will over Mikey Garcia. I could go outside of my fighting identity and do what the fuck I want to do and still beat you? Oh yeah. I'm about to look like the slick outboxer. I'm about to look like this, man. You can do shit when your opponent isn't going to contradict it. You can set traps on the outside and pump the jab and and, and 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 in and out, you know, in and out movement, turn them on angles, and you can do all that shit when your opponent isn't giving you any resistance. At that point, it becomes you shit. The nigga in front of you is a fucking boxing, a punching bag. So you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. That's what that was. Everybody completely overrated that shit. I'm like, y'all are bugging. Mikey Garcia doesn't have anything in his toolbox to give him resist. He would if he was bigger. But he doesn't have it. And maybe it was just because that was his first fight as a welterweight. But even if he was fully acclimated to the division, he still wouldn't have been able to do nothing. He's too small for Earl Spence. He's too small. Even Jesse Vargas was giving him hell. 
So I'm saying, man, let's stop the bullshit. Let's stop the bullshit, man. I think Earl Spence is a good fighter. He's not better than Keith Thurman, though. He's not. Thurman is the better boxer. Thurman can set traps from the outside. Thurman can switch hit. Thurman has impeccable lateral movement. Thurman is the better, the far better counter puncher. Thurman has the faster hands. Thurman has the better ring IQ. According to you motherfuckers. According to you motherfuckers, Thurman, uh, uh, Spence wanted to sit there and fight Sean Porter the way that he fought him. If that's the case, Thurman clearly has the better ring acumen than a, than a Earl Spence. Because when Thurman was put in that same scenario, he 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 he, he um he set traps for uh, for Sean Porter. He set traps for him. He uh, he implemented tactics that would thwart Sean Porter and make him reset and rethink his approach of attack. How are we not get like why is this? I know what 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 the fuck, man. Why are we, how are we not understanding this? You dudes do some goofy shit, man. Like, you know, everybody, you know, niggas is mad about that because Earl Spence is in the position that he's in and he's looking like the top dog in the division. He is the top dog in the division at the moment. I won't take that from him. His accomplishment says so. His resume says so. I, I, won't, take, I won't take that from him. He's the top dog in the division. I don't think there's anybody who can say they're the A side except Manny Pacquiao of course because of legacy but as far as this newer stock of, 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 of welterweights yeah he's HNRC he's the HNRC I won't I won't I won't take that from him I won't take that from him at all however that doesn't mean necessarily you are you're the best if that makes sense. Bud is my man. Bud is one of my favorite active boxers. Of course he is. We from the same soil. We're from the same soil. But if I see something, like I don't think that Bud is just going to go in there and stop Sean Porter. I don't think that. I think he's going to win, but I think it's going to be a victory that he's going to have to earn. And I think it's going to be a, 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 a close fight like he gave everybody else. That's how I feel. I can be somewhat objective about a situation. I can be. Thurman is one of my favorites in the division. At, one of my favorite fighters, period, right now. I've called him out on this channel multiple times. I've called him out. I, I, I just said in this video I was mad when he was cowering to Earl Spence. I've said it. But I don't think Freddie Roach is all in all. I don't think Freddie Roach is wrong. I think he's right on the money with that. I don't think anybody can argue against Thurman being the more fundamentally sound boxer. The you know the more boxer with the 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 more dimensions in their game. I don't think anybody can go against that grain. I don't think anybody can go against that. It is what it is, man. We're not saying that he beat Spence. But I do agree with you. That's how I'm feeling about it, man. Peace.